What's up YouTube, I'm EVScape and welcome back to another video. Today is Thursday, so we have a comparison video for you guys. What we're going to be checking out today is the Tormented Bracelet versus other Magical Gloves to see which one is the most worth it at its price point. Obviously, we know the Tormented Bracelet is the best. It's going to give the best XP rates, but we want to see, is it really worth spending the 11.8 mil that it is worth right now over the 100k for Barrow's Gloves? And is it worth getting the Barrow's Gloves for 100k over the 6k for the Mystic Gloves? We're going to try and answer this question today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So for the rest of the gear setup today that we're going to be testing, just no gloves at the moment. For the rest of the gear setup, we're going to be using full our arms with the Neat's Helm. We're using the Imbued Zamorak Cape, which gives a plus two bonus, and the Occult Necklace, which gives a plus ten bonus. Uh, the Turn of Bracelet is obviously going to give a plus five. We're using this setup. We're going to be using the Ice Blitz spell. The reason we're going to be using the Ice Blitz spell is because I think there'll be too much discrepancy if we were to use Burst because the hits would make a massive difference, whereas we do an hour of just plain ice blitz on one target, it's going to not make that much of a difference. The uh, data is going to be a bit more accurate. At the end, we can expand the data out to use it over the course of a blitz, or a burst, or a barrage, or anything like that. We'll get perfect percentages to figure out which one is the best. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're gonna do the Tormented Bracelet Hour first, and then move on to the Barrow's Gloves, and then the Mystic. All right, guys, we're coming up to the end of the Tormented Bracelet Hour. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's check the XP rates for this hour. We managed to get 82.8K XP in the hour. Now, I know that the XP per hour up there says 82.2, but I had to go ahead and pause the timer when I ran away to re-aggro the, uh, the monkeys. So, 82.8, not too bad. All right, so the hour of the Tormentor Bracelet is done. We're going to jump into the hour of Barrow's Gloves now. These give three less magical attack bonus and also obviously don't give the 5% boost. After that, we're going to check it out with the Mystic Gloves. So one hour of Barrow's Gloves coming up and then we got the one hour of Mystic Gloves to test out whether or not they're worth it at their price point. All right, four seconds left on the clock and we're out. Wow, that is loud. All right, we are out. What do we get? Move this over. There we go. So we actually get 81.7k XP, which is not a whole lot less than with the Tormented Bracelet. I'm going to do some math at the end and see how that extends out uh, if you are bursting or barraging or something like that. Um, but we're going to jump into the Mystic Gloves now and see what kind of a difference that makes. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference at all, if I'm completely honest. No! That's so annoying. There was like a minute left on the timer and I ran out of runes. We're going to count it anyway. We were getting 80k XP per hour. It was 80.5. Let me, uh... So... <laughs> It was 80.5k XP we were going to get in the hour. There was a minute left on the timer and I ran out of runes. Oh, how did I not... How did I not know that was going to happen? That was so silly of me. But that's going to do it for the comparison. Let's go ahead and uh, make up a table, chart, a graph, and figure out whether it's worth it to get the Tormented Bracelet. All right, guys. So we have gone and compared the Tormented Bracelet to the Barrow's Gloves to the Mystic Gloves to see which one is most worth it at its price point. Now, what am I doing? Get that out of there. Tormented Bracelet, 11.9 mil. Mystic Gloves, 6K. Barrow's Gloves, 100K from the Cullen Romance's chest. Which one is the most worth it? Now, the Tormented Bracelet is going to give you a plus 5 magic damage boost and a plus 10 magic attack bonus. This day, we managed to get 82.8k XP from using the Ice Blitz spell for a total of 1 hour. That is a 1.3% increase on the Barrow's Gloves, which gave us 81.7k XP for the one hour, and those Barrow's Gloves were a 1.5% increase on the Mystic Gloves, which gave us 80.5. So the Barrow's Gloves give you a plus 6 magic bonus and no percentage magic damage, and the Mystic Gloves give you a plus 3 magic attack and a no percentage damage increase. So, what can we conclude from this? If you're just doing bursting or something like that 
I don't think the Tormented Bracelet is going to be worth it. Even if you were to get 200,000 XP per hour, the Tormented Bracelet is only going to increase your XP per hour by 1.3%, which is 2.6k if you're getting 200k XP per hour from bursting, which is just not a massive amount whatsoever. And considering they are 11.8 mil, more than the Barrow's Gloves, I don't think it's worth it. Are the Barrow's Gloves worth it over the Mystic Gloves? Yes, they're going to give you a 1.5% increase and it's only 94k. Definitely worth going with the Barrow's Gloves if you're going to be doing bursting or something like that. Obviously, if you want to get the max XP rates and you can afford it, I mean, if you're bursting, you can probably afford a Tormented Bracelet anyway. It's going to be worth upgrading, but... In terms of people that are sort of on the edge of whether or not they should increase their gear from the Barrow's Gloves to the Tormented Bracelet, I don't think it's worth it at all. If you're doing PVMing like Zolra or something like that where Mage is your primary attack method, the Tormented Bracelet is most of the time going to add a plus one to your max hit depending on what spell you're using or if you're using the trident. A plus one is actually pretty significant when you're doing PVM, not so much when you're just training, but if you're doing PVM, I think the Tormented Bracelet would be worth it. If you're doing something like Zora for PVM anyway, you can probably, like I said, afford the Tormented Bracelet anyway, so it's probably definitely worth, probably definitely, good one. It's probably worth upgrading to the Tormented Bracelet if you're doing PVM anyway, but just for training, I definitely don't think the Tormented Bracelet is worth it. But that is going to wrap it up for today's comparison video. Now, comparison videos going forward, I'm actually thinking about ending the comparison video series after next week. Next week, I'm going to be comparing brutal black dragons to brutal red to brutal blue to brutal green because i definitely want to follow up on my original uh red versus green versus blue versus black dragon video definitely want to follow up on that one so next week is definitely going ahead but after that i'm thinking potentially of putting out two plain to main episodes a week instead of this comparison video so you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments section down below I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get enough clips for it or anything like that, but we'll just have to see. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. That being said, that's going to wrap it up today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Links to all my other social media in the description down below. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video tomorrow. Take it easy.